don't forget to check out our costumes or our outfit everything we wear is from amazon like i said before so you could grab them affordable wares cheap and uh, but good quality right to your doorstep you don't have to go shopping especially for those of us who don't even have the time okay Right now I am shooting with the Blackmagic Studio Camera 6K Pro. Of course we have uh, the mini studio here, uh, G2, 4K G2 um, as well. But we're really f talking about that Studio 6K Pro. I want to talk about how I'm powering it right now. I'm using the PoE cable power over ethernet is connected to a device which I've, i found out recently i've been using this setup for about a month now with no issues it is being powered by you know how you how you're supposed to get the uh, the black magic deck that that you uh, that you're supposed to connect the the ethernet cable to power this the camera well you don't have to get that uh, device right now i am using that cable but not with blackmagic's device i'm using a device that is only 60 bucks actually less than 50 it's like 59.99 and this device will connect take your ethernet cable and you got power so with the right voltage it will take the ethernet cable that's already connected to the cam camera and with will power it to the wall which is to the main and you, you are good to go it's just that simple you already have that i mean the difference is you will not be able why that device is um is there's there's more advantage to using the black magic one uh if you don't have to you would you have an option uh you know you have to use that device for every camera if you want to record um you know if imagine using a three camera setup or a five camera setup imagine buying that for all five cameras that's a lot of money okay i used to have this run from the living room where our some um, what's it called modem service provider is located at in the living room up the stairs and you know behind me you know the cable is running through the ceiling right now the that is powering the camera and it's over there power to the unit i'll show you a clip from it uh, or showing how it's connected but the idea is it there's nothing nothing is holding i mean no cable is flying around and all that it's just that simple power cable connecting to it you know the, the camera itself is already bulky uh, at least a big bulky so it would be nice to just keep it simple with this uh, option that's where i wish that this camera the mini studio i wish they came they brought it up they had that same option now um i've tried using a, a usb device with the port i have not been able to find the one that will can power the camera using that i don't think it was designed to i've tried and, and to no avail so i will assume that it can be powered that way but it would have been nice if that internet power over internet option is there for this camera and so that we can have that same device for this unit so the mini studio g2 is probably going to be one hanging in in areas you know where it will need its own unit now like i like in my setup right now i am powering it with a vmat battery the smallest one from small rig um it's just it's it's easy i'm also using that um rig from small rig where you don't need um uh, rods anymore 15 millimeters rods you don't need those ones anymore you just attach it um it, it comes with the base and the vmat mount so you could put your vmat battery and power up the camera and you're ready okay so that's what i think will work 
better for this one so i wish uh, i hope it is possible i hope i'm wrong and that through that usb um, port um you can you can put the usb port in with uh with an ethernet uh, port so that you can still power up the device um i tried to uh, you know i tried two of them i got two of them with the ethernet and none of them were able to power up the camera so i assume it's not possible so unless it is there actually physically but i think it's the option is there so you could provide ethernet or internet you know to the um device that's what i think all right so um i just wanted to let you know that yeah i mean if you if you're working with the studio any of the studio cameras with the ethernet yeah you might want to try the power over ethernet uh, option now i'll show you the previous uh, connection that i had where i had to use the vmat battery yeah with the vmat battery i can take pick up the camera even though it might be like with both hands i can go out and shoot i can mount it on the camera and it's mobile there's a vmat battery powering it that's possible but you can't beat this one now you know because it's just a cable connected to the mains if you're outside you can also connect to um those um let me show you my power solar powers um my power stations um i have some of them that i've always shown you i'll show you on the screen again so that you can be mobile still and still use that device connect the camera put it aside connect the wire run it down to the device and get your power from it and um yeah that should probably take the entire day because um the devices they they are um they are powerful enough to run the camera for the day um and you can still be mobile if you got two of those units you are good to go and you have no problems um you could charge one while using one the other one so that's what i just came to share to you about you know don't forget to like subscribe and let's get to 10,000 this year. <laughs> By faith, I gotta say it because it feels funny when I, if I say let's get to 5,000. We should have been 5,000 long ago. Um, so maybe I shouldn't aim for that low anymore. But let's get to 10,000, okay? Road to 10,000, let's go. All right? See you in the next one.